hello and welcome to another very wonderful tutorial on the quiz app now the whole of this video is to add functionality to these three buttons down here that's the previous the next and the quit buttons at the moment we know they're getting clicked but they're not really doing anything so in this video we'll be adding functionality to these buttons now the first button i add the functionality of is the previous button and for that we'll be adding a handle next let's see previous or next we'll do it for the next button we'll be handling we'll be adding a handle next button click method so i'll just add that method right here so handle next button click it's going to be the method we'll be calling whenever we click the next button so before i go further i'll just call this or add a call to this method over in my JSX and now this is our this is our this is our next button I don't really have to add that here I'll be calling those methods or the method from this handle button click method so the handle next button method is like this first of all I want to check if th there is a next question because at the end of our or when we're on question 15 there's no next button so clicking next should not really call this method if there's no next button and so also if there's no previous question like is the case right now clicking previous should not take us back to an empty question state so to do that i'll first check if if there's a next question so if this dot states dot next question i want to check if it is not undefined so if it's not undefined it means there's a next question only then will i call the method to change the question now to do that the first thing i'll do is to call the button sound or i can even call the sound before even whether or not i check the state of the question so this dot play button sound and this will always call so if there is a next question if the next question is not undefined that means there's a next question so we'll have a call to this dot set state passing in the previous state and our callback I'll just return the object here so the value I'll be updating in this method is the in this call to set state is the current question index. So current question index and it's going to be previous states dot current question index plus one because we are going to the next question. So we want to increment the index. So previous state dot current question index. plus one now after incrementing or updating the index i want to call the display question method to render another question uh, now to make sure to be sure that we are calling that method after this state has been updated we'll call that method on the second parameter of our set state which is a callback function so right here i'll just call this dot display questions and this should be a capital Q display questions as usual the display questions method takes in our states so this dot states and the second argument is the current question so this dot states dot current question And the third is the next question and the fourth is the previous question so this dot states dot next question and the fourth is this dot states dot previous question now to go over that one more time we will click we'll click the next button It's going to 
handle button click which is this method over here is going to call or want to call the what's that method the next button click now i'm just going to pass these buttons ids also so id here is going to be previous button and this one will be next button the id is going to be next button and the id of the last one is quit button now you can give these buttons whatever id you want but the id should match wherever you want to call them in your application over in my handle button click method i'll simply use a switch statement to detect which button was clicked so and because this function is called as an event handler we have access to that event here up in the function so i'll just call the event e so using my switch statement switch i want to switch through the id so switch e dot target dot id i'll first add my default state my default case and i'll just return i'll just break i won't do anything there now in the case whereby the next button was clicked we want to check if the id is equal to this next button that we have there so that's easy case next button so this is switching or checking that the id of the button or the target that was clicked is button id and if it's button id then i want to call the play button sound so i'll cut this and paste it up here I think we're having multiple calls to the play button sound. Let me see. In my next method, this one. Okay, so I can even take this play button sound out of the way here. So I simply call the handle next button click method inside here so this dot handle next button click now after that you want to add your break statement never forget to add the break so for now we just have the functionality to handle the next button click now let's see if it's working so over my application i click next and our questions are changing next next and our sound is getting played so the next thing i'll do is to add the one for the previous button and that's very similar so i'll just duplicate this handle next button click method and this will be handle previous button click previous button click now the only thing or the few things we'll be changing here first of all we'll check if there is we're going back so we'll check if there is a previous question from our states and if there is if it's not undefined that means there is so we want to decrease our question index by one and not increment it and we we'll still want to make a call to the display questions method after that so let's try it out and see we are on question one I'll answer the question answer this now let's see if we can go back to the previous question and it's not getting called why is that we did not call it in our handle handle button click method which is over here so let's add the case for it so case previous button if the previous button was clicked we want to call this dot handle previous button click and we want to break so that's the case for the previous button let's try it out what are boys at 100 degrees I'll just answer wrongly here and whatever the answer is I don't really care but let's go back it's working and we can go forward 
now for the quit button i'll just add an alert that simply sends us back to the home page not an alert but a a a confirm dialog so this will be we'll add that below the handle not below handle button click but below handle previous button click it doesn't really matter where you add this method too but i just want to keep mine in similar orders order in terms of functionality so the method will be handle quit button click and it's going to be called to an arrow function now whenever we click the quit button we want to call the play button sound method to play the clicking sound and then we'll check if window window dot confirm we're calling or making a call to the confirm method and it's going to ask are you sure you want to quit now I'll just I'll just I'll just run this method before I even call this method I'll just call this window dot confirm on its own outside of the outside of the if statement for now so this will be are you sure you want to quit now I'll comment this out for now I don't really have to because it won't run but I'll just comment it out for now now if I let's add the case to our button for our button also I almost forgot that again so this one now the case will be case quit button quit button I want to call this dot handle quit button this dot handle quit button quit button click and also to break and this shouldn't be here so if I click my quit button now we should see a confirm pop up are you sure you want to quit now if i click ok this method returns true and if i click cancel it returns false so i want to handle the return value of this function so i'll, get, I'll just get rid of where's the function of this one here and on comments this so if the user returns true this if expression will return true and if that's true i want to make a call to this dot props dot history dot push and i want to take us back to the home page so the push method takes an argument which is the link we want to navigate to so this takes us back to our home page now let's try it one more time i'll answer a few questions i'll go back i'll go next and then i'll quit so this is 100 degrees Celsius and William Shakespeare wrote the books and it's an alarm clock. The elephant is the only mammal that can't jump and Sherlock Holmes lived at that location. What color is a panda? Green and yellow? Nope. Green and white? Nope. Blue and red? Nope. Black and white. So a panda is black and white and the smallest bone in the human body is not the legs, not the hands, not the chest, and in, in the ear. So it's working. I can go previous, I can go next, and quit. We expect to go back to our home page when I click OK. But if I click cancel, nothing happens. So cancel, good and fine. Quit, back to the home page. So thank you for staying with me, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you in the next.